Welcome everyone, this is Shadow Drake, and uh, we are gonna resume this. Uh, let's see, it is actually day five. So, Hydration let's see. Critical. Hydration's critical, okay, fine. Just gonna drink some water then. This is gonna be bad. Okay, so let's get some things clear. We need some pipes. What do I have in here? Not enough. Nowhere near enough. I need the tool printer, but I am missing 15 iron and 10 copper. <laughs> okay. Try to reorganize my stuff. Power low. And my power is low. Okay, so I went back and I looked, and it seems like It seems that when I last did it, it was actually day five, so I am in day five. Which is a little problematic for me, because I have a lot less time than I wanted to have. And so I need to finish up that entire build completely. Logic. I uh, do I have good. I need two of you. I need to finish up that build, but I also don't have very much uh, time because, well, it's the morning. So that's the good news about it being the morning is that. <clears throat> Sorry. The good thing about being the morning is that I still have some leeway. Not much. memory get build a sensor copper and gold silver can go back in there all right and now I need uh, arithmetic logic processor. One of the things I'm actually missing is I need a labeler. The labeler, which I could have bought. <laughs> but I did not. So now I'm kind of wondering what this guy has. Is that better? That looked better. Forty-one, thirty-one. 21, 13, 6, that's enough. Okay, perfect, you're done. And I don't think I have any sheets, uh, frames, so I need one more frame. But this could all be for nothing, because if this guy has a label maker, it would be, whoop, did that whole montage of me building that stuff really would have been for nothing. Okay, let's see what you got. Uh, nope, literally not that. Get away from here. Okay, okay. Cool, cool. So, it's still midday. Uh, we're going to touch up this a little bit more. I think I decided I am going to relocate these. To be right here. So. One. Two. Three. 
And I put the pipes away. That's okay. Because straight, straight. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Okay, so if I get this and I hand drill that away, I think what I am going to do is put the back pressure regulator right here, one space back. There. Hmm. Okay. This is going to be... Can this go underneath? Not. This is going to be bad. Okay, okay. Uh, let's see. Let's move you. What do you that need to be moved? Andrew. really trying to keep an eye on the actually Let's get you. Uh, there we go. There we go. Side. Let's get this reconnected here. Okay, so here's the thing. Am I gonna cable this up? This is gonna be bad cabling. Oh, I forgot to build a sensor. Still midday. Okay, so. The thought is that I need to... Did that build one? I don't think it did. Okay, got it. I forgot to build that up. Turn off. Ooh. Actually running a little bit up out, out of power. Give me a little bit more charge. Okay, so we got this. I need to empty this out. Okay. So the thing about these logic IOs is... I never built the memory, did I? Well, I need that and that inside. Okay, still daytime. Really need that labeler.
All right, got it. So what do I need for a labeler? Just iron and gold. That's fine. Got everything. So the hard part is this first night, day five, I need to get the, uh, I need to fill up my chamber. And then I need to power. No, 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 no. So I need to fill up my chamber and I need to power up that, uh, this I think the easiest way to do that is to just make that go this way and just connect it to here so this night is going to be a tricky one because I need to get everything completely set up okay so this is going this is going I might not have enough cable, which means I need some more copper. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, on. Here's the tricky part. I need to make space. This needs to fill. Look how hot that got. That's insane. So, Alright, so we got evaporation, uh, condensation. This is going to fill my chamber. Which is in turn going to cool that. Which is in turn going to fill this up. Get that going. Okay. So part of the setups is like I always say is I always try to fill this to five liters. This is gonna fill up four point nine. Put that here, put that here, get that back over there, get that back over here. If I can get this filled up to five liters tonight, that's that's a good spot to be in. This is gonna fill up, it's gonna start condensing soon. It's a back pressure, right? Perfect. That's gonna start condensing. Yep, there we go, condensing. Just gotta get you to five liters. And essentially, so I did this on the phase change tier one Vulcan demo thing. I did something like that. Uh, basically, it's a three step system, essentially. Look how good that's cooling. Almost there. Four. And 
and five. Now this is going to be cooling. There is a lot of spent heat. Okay. Okay, that should be set up for now. So now what I need to do is, I need a gas sensor. Right here, I think. And so now what I need to do is make a lot of this. Okay, so if I do this, okay, reader, writer, memory, I already had a memory, I need to compare. I'm not gonna fit this very well. Ah, whatever. Memory and uh, compare. Hydration critical. Oh come on. Stake right here. <laughs> okay. I need a better spot for these. Okay, tell you what. I think it'll be best if I fit these out here, somewhere. So. Reader. Writer. Compare. part about this is it's already 150 so go out that way are you kidding me okay let's just go make some more cables Really hard part is, woo, that is very hot. And my power situation is getting worse and worse. Situation's actually getting pretty bad now. Temperature critical. Okay. I have to get this set up completely because that's. I think that's the last of my water. Because this is now day six.
do 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 I think we had launching chips. I rarely program these, so this is going to be interesting. Power low. Oh, power's low, okay. So this is the compressor vent. That works. And let's see, what was it? Uh, pollutants is going to be 425. 425, 425. Outside sensor. So if I remember right, it was 425. It only the reader and the writer. I thought I connected this. Okay. This is not connected. This should be connected. This outside sensor. Does it not work? Okay, so that's the output. Oh, you know what? This is also not the right thing. This is supposed to be a writer. Okay. Compressor vent, and I want the mode logic compare, and I want to write the mode. Oh, that's right, because this needs to, the outside sensor, and I want the temperature. There we go. Greater, okay. Perfect. That sets this up. Okay. Now, what I need to do is completely enclose this. And... Hold on. I need a passive vent. Pretty sure I built one. Okay. Passive vent. And you know what? Passive vents. Need my active vents. And that should complete the build. All right. So now what needs what's gonna happen is I enclose this enclose this <clears throat> and close good vacuum out this room so that when this room is completely vacuumed out there's not gonna be any excess heat. This entire assembly in here is going to be safe. This won't gain any extra heat so that this can work. It'll only work at night, though. Oh, but look at this. Look at this pipe network, 20 Celsius. Which means that I will have extra space soon. I mean, 
condensation here because this can't do anything. So this is a slight problem, but it shouldn't it should not get anywhere to breaking point. All right. And with that, that's going to suck out this pipe network to empty. Perfect. Okay. Turn that off. I no longer have a cloud. You want to know something? I left the pipe radiators outside, didn't I? But I can enclose this. That way, that heat section won't radiate as much. All right. Cosmic tools and more. You know what? That would have been great a little bit earlier, you know, before I printed the entire printer setup. So I need water bottle filler. Where's my iron? You're in here. I'm kind of... I'm at emergency mode for water now. Silicon. I'm missing some silicon. Oh, crap, crap, crap. Okay. Let's go get some. Alright, let's get some. My liquid pipes. My radiators. I need to get some silicon because that... Alright, so... I kind of ran through it because I'm at towards the quote limit of my day cycle ah! and because of that I neglected my basic water needs and stuff okay got that need a little bit of silver because I don't have enough Not enough. Uh, I need more silver. So where was I? Not very talkative right now because I've been in deep thinking mode. So, got my radiators. Getting hungry. Need water bad, desperately. And this will start to cool down. Base. 
There we go. That should help keep the temperatures better. Alright, so I need a water bottle filler. Pipe utility. Now, what I need to find is probably So let's see how. It's a wrench to unscrew you. There we go. All right, so let's see. This is a real. This is gonna be a jank build. Everything is really crappily done. Okay, since I have you, that solves my immediate water bottle problem. Thing that that does not solve, however, is that okay. Okay, that should be filling up. So what I need now is an eating and drinking place. So I need iron sheets. Some cables again. So let's get, <coughs> sorry. for a door some copper okay so what I what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a small little spot to eat and drink at so let's just for the sake of argument find a place you know what Right here. So let's do sheets. I'm loving that. That temperature is going down. Yeah, here, here. What I need to finish you. Perfect. So now I need a fence. Pass a fence. I know, I know. Blocks. Okay, middle. Oh, this is a uh, kind of rinkity dink 
little setup here just so that I can have a eating and drinking spot. But hey, whatever little bit works, I mean, my base is no longer as claustrophobic as it was. Health low. Yes, 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 I know, my health is low. Alright, there we go. Ooh, that was, uh, scary. Alright, so... I got my little eating and drinking hole. I have my face change device that's actually cooling my base down. As you can tell. It's very slow about it, but I think I just need a few more radiators. Just golden steel. This is the end of day six, probably. And it's, so let's let's kind of talk about what I've done. So, what do we got here? Let's just do that. Okay. So. We have this little waste, this little pipe. Well, actually, let's start with the outside. So, it, it looks like this kind of built. Uh, it works. Really, the big thing now is just getting more stable and set up. Orbiting oxygens. Is that a gas? That might be gas. Well, while that's being called down, let's talk about what I did. Because uh, it looks like day six, it's about to be day seven. Uh, okay. So, when it's nighttime, less than 150 Celsius, as set by the. Uh, gas sensor, my logic chips here, it will turn the mode for this fence. Mode 0 means it's gonna empty this out. Mode 1 is it's gonna push and condense everything in here. All liquids will go into my base and all excess junk is gonna come out here. I think I need to decrease that. So, nighttime hits. This is going to this is going to suck in air to condense pollutants. These pollutants, in turn, are going to go into my liquid network. I think what I need to do is I need to make a liquid drain. A little bit more coal. So when that happens, 84 from contact. So when that happens, all the liquid pollutants in here are going to actually get shoved into this pipe network where they're going to evaporate and it's going to keep this at a low temperature. This low temperature in turn allows this condensation chamber to condense and move the heat around in here, into here, which is going to feed this evaporation chamber. This evaporation chamber is going to feed this small little uh, pipe, and as you can see, it's 26 Celsius. 
So it's trying to desperately cool this down. And then these radiators are cooling down my internal living space. This is perfect. You saw it was like 110 Celsius when I had started, and now it's coming down to a nice, breathable atmosphere. 82 still? That can't be right. That got slower. I got better. Let's see how well that did. Let's see atmospherics. Landing pad atmospherics. I need copper. Where are you at? 72. Good grief. Let's see if I go a lot this way. Is it better? Much better. Forty-six. How much did that improve? Forty-two. Not my much, so it's probably this. Thirty-five. Thirty. This is the hard part sometimes, calling them down. 31, okay. It's just barely not working. So something is wrong. 23. 25. 14, 10, 10. Oh my gosh, I, I feel like I'm playing some kind of funky. Fifteen, four. There we go. Need a volume pump. Need copper. Way out of copper. Okay, that's cool. We can go get more copper. Uh, where was I at? I believe orbiting oxygen is a gas trader, and to be honest, that's actually a really good thing to end this on, because a gas trader in Vulcan at this point it will give me two very important and crucial things. And that is basically gases and water. Unfortunately, oh, there was like no one. Unfortunately, I wasn't ready for it. But one good thing about calling down a trader is that once you call them down, they are there. They will stay there until you are done with them. And I will be honest, I will not be done with this guy for a while. All right, you, yep, look at that. Gases, exactly what I need. And if I remember right, bulk volatiles, you know, $5, but I spent seven fifty. Yep, I think they fixed that. This cardboard box, food package, nope. It's not like I can ever sell those, but all of these gases, very useful to have. So let's uh, vent out my furnace because it's got a bunch of junk gases in there. 
fill up my air tank while that's doing that. How's my base? 40 Celsius, look at that! It's working great! Air tank critical. Oxygen low. Alright. I didn't collect much. That's not right. I could have sworn I collected a lot more silicon than that. Leave that because I don't want to explode my furnace. I did collect a lot, didn't I? I gotta review that. Now, the silicon I'm going to need because I am going to make some insulated water tanks. While I got that trader down, I'm just going to grab out quite a bit of water from him. And that should keep me steady. But if I remember right, I need both copper, steel, Power low. and silicon. Enough for now. A little bit of gold. Okay. furnace silicon in there So while that's happening, this is basically where it's all going to get much easier now. Um, my base is livable. I have my atmospherics. I need a volume pump. And I need some more pipes. Regulator. So what I am going to do is make a back pressure regulator right here. So now I need a cow. Ugh. Really out of materials. Output. This way, and... That's an input. Ugh. Grinder. No. Input, output, there we go. So that takes care of that. Let's go get a few more materials because I never 
build enough of anything. I need a lot of iron. I need a lot of stuff. Get a little bit of coal. Where's the iron? I see iron deposits right there. So yeah, um, lost my train of thought talking about it. So looks like this is the end of day seven. I believe that's where the Vulcan sun is at, end of day seven. And from the looks of things, it looks like I did it. It looks like this is a complete success. Uh, Still day zero, according to the thing. Can't believe how much iron you need. And so really from here, thanks to that trader right there. Not very hot. I need so much silver. Okay. Fifty of you. Thirty three of you. you so let's see insulated liquid tank got just enough Hydration critical. I'm trying, game. I'm trying to pressurize this little base. Insulated tank. Pretty, I told it to build one, didn't I? This is what happens when everything's so scrunched up. It's somewhere, I bet. building regular pipes because honestly they're cheaper right now I got a feeling that that insulated pipe tank went somewhere <laughs> like I built one didn't I I built one
getting some oxygen, and I think I forgot about a very important thing, and that is a uh, passive liquid drain and a one way pipe valve. Liquid drain. Seriously, where did that insulated tank go? Liquid valve. Valve, 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 liquid pipe valve. Okay, insulated liquid tank. Let's start another one. You know what? I'm going to watch you this time. Let's see what happened to it. Because it went somewhere. I thought I saw something that said that. Did I? Did I? Or was I incorrect about that? Let's see what happens to it. I guess I never built one. I can breathe. So the the final thing I forgot completely about doing is to add this little doohinky. So that'll go there. And that'll be for pressure relief. Pressure relief. All right, so to sum up, it looks like I got everything working for a tier one face change device set up. That's empty. Let's buy 10 more oxygen for some extra pressure. Uh oh, it's probably overstressed it. What I want to do is buy this bulk water, but I need to place. Let's place you right here. I need to buy. I need to. Come on. I need to make a liquid volume pump. Oh, look at this lovely pressure. Liquid volume pump. And let's do insulated liquid pipes. Because I don't have a lot of those. But good news is I can breathe. Let's build one more. Actually, two more. I can breathe. This is doing temperature controls. It's at 20 Celsius. This isn't hot and heavy. This is at 66 Celsius, so that means this isn't going to be doing as much work anymore. Because this is, doesn't have much reason to do work. So, what do we learn? We learned that, uh, uh, see what I mean? Keep them indefinitely until you're ready. Oh, close my helmet. Oxygen low. Okay. Do I want to get a little bit more? I got oxygen. I can always fill the base with CO2. Let's just get a little bit more oxygen in there. Alright, so with that, we won't need that anymore. Come on. Come on. Okay. 
I'm sure that looks absolutely weird and funky and stupid. And that won't work, because this is not a true... Now let's use a wrench. No, it's an angle grinder. Now we can do liquid outputs. Connect that. Volume pump. So, the thing about liquids. You know what? I have some extra sheets. Ha! I, I am smart every now and then. I think ahead every now and then. So with that, I can buy... I think if I buy one, that'll put this close to freezing because of evaporation. Yep. It's about five liters. The goal is to get just a little bit of extra. So that's going to evaporate. And about another five. So that puts me at basically $50 to my name. But what that does for me is I now have. I now have a tank of water floating in the air. 20 liters of liquid. Not much, just a little bit of extra. I can expand my base to include it and use that for a watering system. And trader bots, goodbye. You filled up my base very nicely. It is day eight. Don't kill myself. Don't kill me. Should be day eight at least. Now comes the point where, honestly, this is the point where Vulcan is completely doable. Don't need that, don't need that. And by that, I mean, let you know, we're just gonna have to sum it up. I really didn't speak much. Let's put my food in there. So, what do we got here? I got a tiny little little living space. Water to eat and drink at will. Food to eat at will. I gotta do a lot of remodeling in here, but this tier one phase change system is going to keep me steady. It is... I still have my portable tank, which has 5.78 megapascals, so I can still keep filling this tank up. But because I got a gas trader and got a lot more in my base, I now have a lot more air to work with. Things to do to improve is uh, I think I will expand that way. Maybe two floors, start a greenhouse so that I can keep my oxygen constantly renewing. We'll make a portable light so that I can stop using my suit battery. Uh, let's see. What else? I could expand traders. Build ink. You know what? That would be a good person. I would, that would be a good group. There we go. Now I have light. I can build one more large battery so that it's constantly charging. I think this is it. This is a good spot. Day 8. I'm very well set up. My base will be cool. Kept cool here by this. I can go out mining. I have a little bit of water that I can still work with. And 
No longer need these water bottles. Ah. I, I'll be honest. I did it. I think I did it. So this is probably the hate, I believe. I got my survival set up. I have an extra door. But yeah. This has been Shadow Drake, and I don't know if I'll continue this, but at least I was able to show uh, Tier 1 base change setup on Vulcan. And now I'm basically going to be comfortable. This is going to be fairly low power. I have an active vent outside. That's uh, 100 watts. Yep. My chips, I believe, are 10, 20 watts each. Yep, so that's 130. I have one pressure regulator. Oh, I can turn you off. I have a back pressure regulator. So that's 230. And then two phase change devices is another 50 each. So that's 330 watts constant power usage by my cooling system. And by the looks of things, it's actually more than capable of doing that. I am just pushing out 900 joules of thermal energy cooling in here. Some of it is being leaked in here. That's fine, but that's a very minuscule amount that's being leaked in here. The rest is being leaked in here, but I still have a comfortable lead. I still have a battery. At this point, kind of the world is my oyster. I can square away my insights, continue building up. I could call down building and get some decent building materials. I no longer need. Power critical. I can actually run suitless in here. I can improve my mood. Oh, I apologize if I was not very talkative. Um, but yeah, hopefully this can be something that can help. Uh, you can follow through. But yeah, all I can say is getting this face change loop set up was the easy part. Figuring out how to work with this. Uh, uninsulated stuff was the other hard part because quite honestly when I did the test and left them outside they heated up too fast that this could not really work to keep this entire inside cool down but now that it is cool I can I can work with this alrighty this has been Shadow Drake uh, best of luck Hopefully this has helped, and I might continue this just to keep expanding. All right, and we will see how tier how I make modifications to tier two. Have a good evening and good night.